Hello and welcome to this episode of Have You Seen? This is a special one. I've been annoying her about doing this for a while now, a few months, uh, because around us that you can't see off, off screen is all of my still books that I've collected over the past, how long we've we been here? It's like three years. Yeah. So I'm going to show you our still book collection because people like to see collections. And I'm going to ask her, have you seen, and also have you seen these and do you enjoy the artwork for these still books? Because here we like artwork of movie stuff. Well, I do, do you? Yeah. It's going That's to be good. a surprise. It's going to be a surprise. Right. We're going to start off with a very repetitive one. Groundhog Day. This is our still book. Uh. It's got the groundhog on the back, Bill Murray on the front. Inside, you've got the J card because I stick that there. And you've got the discs, two discs, 4K disc and a Blu-ray disc. It's very nice. Have you seen, here you go, have you seen Groundhog Day? Yes. Have you seen, Gra I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> no. So that's Groundhog Day. Next, we have got Cloverfield, which is a nice little slip thing here. comes off, gives you the city and everything on the background. There you go, the city as well. And inside, you've got a bigger picture and the disc and a 4K disc. Have you seen? Have you seen Cloverfield? Yes, but I can't remember what happens in it. It wasn't particularly memorable. Ooh, that's a bit of an insult to Cloverfield. You like a good end of the world disaster movie. I know. I don't know why. I, I, it's not been my favourite, I don't feel like. Did you find 10 Cloverfield Lane better? I like 10 Cloverfield Lane. A lot of people did like that. Mm. Over. Right, next Prey. So this is the one from Disney Plus and Hulu, Hulu in America. Uh, it is a Predator movie, but it's set in the ancient times. And this is the uh, 4K still book they released. Front and back. And inside is the J card, which I think they're in the two, four discs. Have you seen, have you seen Prey? Prey was my surprise of... Was it this year or last year I watched it? Last year. Last year. Because I thought it was going to be a really boring film. Why? The trailer looks so good. And... I mean, you're not a fan of Predator, so... I didn't think I would like it, but I really liked it. That's good, that's good. It was good. a good film. That's good. All right, next we have the Rocky collection. I'm not going to go through all of them. They're just Ooh. different poses or Sylvester Stallone posing. As he does. Uh, have you seen the Rocky films? Never, never. You've never seen any of them? No. We have all four you can watch. <sighs> Typical. Uh, Rocky 4 for me is a, my favourite, as most people. Rocky 1's good. Oscar winning Rocky 1. I believe it won an Oscar. Write in the comment section if it didn't win an Oscar. Uh, here you go. Have have Rocky. Four. four Rocky films. Four Rocky films to enjoy. Obviously, I've seen the um, song the and song? the... Oh, the montage. Montage. Maybe one day will be the time to watch Rocky. Right. Next is we're going to the special ones in front of us. Three Ghostbusters movies. Right, so... The remake, the all-female remake. That's the front. That's the back. The artwork is done by Dan Mumford. Lovely chap. You should follow him on his... Uh, social network thing we like his posters we like his posters very nice chap as well so that's the female and then you've got the original one also done by dan okay and then you've got ghostbusters 2 right which one is your favorite favorite out of those would be ghostbusters 1 i think yeah the, the original one it's because it's got the woman jumping out and stuff the films themselves are great there's a new one coming out soon, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I don't have the Ghostbusters Afterlife steelbook because I can't find it anywhere. Or oh, I can find it and it's stupidly priced. Oh. And it's not even artwork by Dan. So, ugh. Sony, get Dan to do that cover and then I'll buy that. Right, next is Godzilla. Original. The original American because they're not the original, obviously. There's other ones, that's the back as well. And inside it's a J card and the you know it's a 4K disc. The 4K on it wasn't that bad, but you've never seen this before, have you? No. And what did you think of this Godzilla? Here you go. This Godzilla is the ugliest Godzilla. 
that I've ever seen. Um, doesn't even look like Godzilla. Doesn't even look like Godzilla. Looks more like a dinosaur yeah. from Jurassic Park, except a really badly drawn one, made one. Yeah. So, Film overall was they not... They didn't do that well. Not, I mean, it was very... 90s. 90s, yeah. Matthew Broderick. Dramatic, but... Yeah. Lots of Simpsons cast members in it as well. Mm. Harry Shearer, Hank Azari, uh, Bart Simpson, what? Nancy Cartwright. Is that her name? Yes. Can't remember. Godzilla Minus One was better though. Yes, Godzilla Minus One is the best. Talking of Godzilla, <laughs> here is the Monsterverse Steelbooks. So, Blue. let's go for this one. And you've got Godzilla, the original one. Inside, you just got a picture of Godzilla doing his thing. And then you had, I believe it was Kong Skull Island with King Kong oh, yeah. doing his thing. And again, big shouty God, uh, Godzilla, King Kong. And then Godzilla, King of Monsters. Monsters, I can't say monsters. I can't say the word. Inside, was that in the, the back. most recent one? No, uh, and inside, and I won't bother showing you the inside of this one, but it's Godzilla vs. King Kong. Now, this disc actually is a very good 4K disc. If you've got a 4K player, shove this one in, it's the pitch quality of sound, it's all good, it's all good. So, those are the uh, Kong, the Godzilla ones. Now, something I had to import from America because. Can I have this here? Dread. A little slip cover. Comes off, comes away. Like this, that's the front. That's the back. Have you seen Dread? No. Sometimes, I just see. This is Dread. I've never even heard of Dread. It's based on the comic uh, Judge Dread, originally played by Sylvester Stallone, but this time it's played by your favorite from Star Trek. Keith Urban, the, the, the Carl boys. Urban, not Keith Urban, the country singer. No, <laughs> Carl Urban. The one that says oi in the boys a lot. Oh, okay. He is dread, he is brilliant in this. This film is one of the best action remakes. I'm saying it's a remake to The Raid. It's obviously the story is different, apart from the building and The Raid is a building. The fight sequences in The Raid are superior and great. But obviously the gun fighting and everything like that, it's a bit different for this one. So that's Dread. You need to watch Dread. Yes. I'll get it to watch Dread. It's great. Then, Pulp Fiction. Tarantino front and back. And inside is Jake Harden, a scene from the actual film. Have you seen Pulp Fiction? Yes. What did you think? I enjoyed it. Um, when I was younger, I tried to watch it and I thought it was quite boring. I oh, know. Um, but as I grew up, I enjoyed it. I enjoy this uh artwork as well simple, simple 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 artwork yeah. now next is another tarantino reservoir dogs now this artwork i think is great because it's got the slip where if you do it the right way you can pull off his ear <laughs> yeah. his ear comes off that's our favorite bit that's that and that's the, the the back and then you've got over on the back on the j card um even though it's not a j card it's just a slip cover sort of thing um reservoir dogs is great it's a very very good 4k upgrade if you're not if you're looking for a good 4k upgrade reservoir dogs is is up there next you've got oppenheimer yes everyone wants this I, i'll sell you have you seen oppenheimer yes have you seen oppenheimer yes it's long isn't it i thought it was all right i watched it here sitting here i mean weird should have watched it on TV and I didn't watch the, the disc. I'll give that a go. Right, next is Barbie. Have you seen Barbie? Yes. I haven't even opened it. I haven't opened it. It's <laughs> sealed. So it's sealed. That's a Jake on the back. It's a side. Did you enjoy Barbie? I really enjoyed Barbie. Yeah? I thought it was great. How much of that did you see? Next we have Transformers. They are apparently robots in disguise. Or in the skies, depending on who you ask. Okay, so uh, Transformers 1, the Shia LaBeouf one. It's a bit 
And it's 4K disc. Oh, and there's a little sticker thing or an iron on thing. Can't get it out. Patch. A patch. A patch that comes with it. I'm trying to take my patch. <laughs> part two. These are all part of the Zavi um, box sets they do. They do like all of them in one go. Um, it's, it's quite nice. Nice little thing. I think it's a bit pricey though. I think it was like a hundred pounds. Yeah. The thing's behind us. The thing is behind us. The actual box is the behind box. us. Part three. There we go. And part four, which I've never watched because I heard terrible things. I don't want Transformers to be, you know, ruined for me. And part five. Again, never watched. I didn't know there were five. Yeah. Yeah, there's more than five actually. It's Bumblebee as well, which we have watched. We saw this in the cinema, and it was good. It was very traditional style, but with action. Yeah. And live action I as well. It. And then you got the most recent one, which we saw in the cinema, which wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It was still a bit, um, a bit over the top, but it was it was fine. It's a fine standard Transformers film, and you could you can tell that Michael Bay is no longer directing it. And then you've got this one. Artwork by uh, Matt Ferguson. We have a poster of this in our bedroom. Because this one is the greatest. Transformers the movie. You need to see that one. Next is Shazam. The DC comic book Shazam. Oh, yeah. Have you seen Shazam? Yeah. Th this was a surprise to me because I like this film. Yeah. We've also got Shazam 2. Fury of the Gods. That's the front. That's the back. Have you seen Shazam Fury of the Gods? Yeah. Was it also a surprise? Yeah. I thought it would be rubbish. But the reviews were giving it awful reviews. Wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad at all. Next we do is two of the uh, Cornetto trilogy. Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. So we do we do Shaun first. There's Shaun. And on the back. Inside. Uh, why do you have only two of the Cornetto trilogy? Because I hate the third film. That's why. Hot Fuzz, one of the best comedy action films you'll ever see. If you've not seen Hot Fuzz, what you need to do is move to the UK and get ITV3 and it'll be on there every single day. <laughs> every day. That's the back as well. I feel like Wild Tim wasn't that bad though, the last I time hate, we I hate Wild Tim. It. it wasn't that bad, but I hate it. <laughs> right, next. Ferris Bueller's Day Off shoes and then you got the scene inside with them standing there you can't even see it because the j cars in there all of these are 4k uh discs by the way so it's a good thing but it really was his day on it yeah it really was his day on not his day off right next is dungeons and dragons a surprise film for me that i watched it and then i was like i've got a bottle of steelbook it's so good it's really good have you seen Dungeons and Dragons. No. You need to watch Dungeons and Dragons. It's a good action film. Look like action film. Just because that sentence is symmetrical doesn't make it not nonsense. All right, next we have the box set from Zavi of Mad Max. It's oh. the front, the back. Have you seen Mad Max? Yes. You've seen did Mad I Max? Did I watch all of them or did I just watch? You just watched Fury Ride. Oh, no, no then. So if you haven't seen Mel Gibson as Max. No. Nope. Uh, that's part one. And then you got part two, uh, Road Warrior. The blue one, back there. There you go. And then you got part three, uh, Beyond Thunderdome, with a Tina Turner, the late great Tina Turner. What? She, she doesn't even know that Tina Turner she stars. She knows that Tina Turner stars. In Man Max. Yeah. <laughs> and then you got the update version. Uh, well, it's not an update version. It's Mad Max Fury Road, um, which was absolutely brilliant. The Oscar-winning. Many an Oscar-winning film. Visually, if you've not seen it, watch this. It's also a black and white version of this. And it looked amazing in black and white. Surprisingly. That is the Mad Max collection. You can get that from Zavi as well. Next, another Zavi collection. The Matrix collection. We'll just go through these. You've got the OK sequel. The bad ending to the trilogy. And why did they make it? 
so bad. So bad, we turned it off. We turned it off. <laughs> so bad. But, you, you know, if you if there's a collection, go and have them on. Oh, shit. Hey, Mikey, I think he likes it. How about some more? Hell yes. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah? Have you seen Raiders of the Lost Ark? Yeah, I enjoy uh, Indiana Jones himself. Fair enough. Uh, Temple of Doom. Inside as well. Have you seen Temple of Doom? Yes. It's good, it's good. Have you seen Temple of Doom? Last Crusade, which is my favourite Indiana Jones film. I enjoyed this one. I think it was more It was more funny. Sean mm. Connery was good as his dad and everything like that. And I like the Holy Grail story. Have you seen the, um, the Indiana Jones show at Disneyland? No. I have. Have you seen the Indiana Jones show at Disneyland? If so, write in the comment section. The one that everyone hated because, you know, it's not realistic. It's no. aliens. It's the other one's religion, which is, they're both as stupid as each other. I well, actually, this one's more realistic. I thought that Shia LaBeouf was quite good in that, as and, an well, aside. And the latest one, Die of Destiny. They killed off Shia LaBeouf in this. Said he died in the war. It, this one was a surprise. It was not as good as some of the others, but it was for an 80-year-old man. Yeah, not, and not for bad. an Indiana Jones film, it fit in yeah. with what? I don't Indiana know why people hated it. Jones was about. Yeah. All right. Next. Back to the Future. Front and back. Steelbooks 4K. And... Classic. Classic. Part two. You all know the actual picture. You've all seen the pictures of what they look like. And you dropped it. And part three. This is the standard, no special, um, what do you call it? No special artwork on these ones, which is fine. What did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! The fifth element, a Zavi exclusive. Still book with her on the back. I've spoken about this. I wasn't happy with the actual artwork. Because Dan did this. Oh, which one do you prefer? This one. This artwork is much better. If you can, get this artwork. Uh, let's have a look on the, on the back as well. The back's good. The back's good. That's the fifth element, if you're wondering. I'm just randomly holding up things you don't know what it is. Right. So sometimes you have to get two copies. Not sometimes. <laughs> Talking of two copies. <laughs> Um, the Exist, the 4K release. So this is the one that comes with the standard steelbook. Um, so you got her doing some creepy face thing there, and the windows on the back, something inside, and it's covered by discs. I'm sure there's artwork there. And then you got the one with the special edition one, which is the traditional standing lamppost, the priest there, and then her levitating. Why do you have two? Different covers. You prefer. Well, I I prefer this. Yeah. Obviously, who doesn't? And for some reason this one's dented. So, well, that one was a weird one in the shop. It had no cover. It had no J card. This is an HMV, and the person was like, "Yeah, I've hidden it." Do you remember that? <laughs> that was weird. I just went in there. I was like, "Do you have the excess?" And they're like, snuck off. Came back with that version dented. Going, "Ooh, it's fine." Uh, next is. Super Mario, a very simple standard case. It's, it's I still just... think we should have got the star. <sighs> the star was too expensive. It was like a hundred pounds, and it wouldn't be a steel book. No, it wouldn't have fit, would it? No. What you got there? You got the two. Sp you want these two? Together. Right. The two of these. You can talk about these ones. Okay, you've got Spider Man. The first one, I couldn't see because it doesn't have a... Into the Spider-Verse. That's Into the Spider-Verse. Yeah. Um, J-Card's inside. J-Card's inside. Discs are inside. Um, I really liked this film, and this film was a bit groundbreaking, wasn't it? Yeah, but um, sadly... Visual effects. The Sa sequel. Sadly, the sequel came next. Um, People loved it. I didn't. It was too over the top with the effects, I thought. Too, I understand yeah. what they're doing, changing the 
uh, changing the scene, which doing different frame rates and everything like that, which is fine. I didn't fine. like it. Visually, I didn't like it. So we'd seen I liked it. the first one. Fair enough. But you've got to have them on Steelbook them. because, you know, they're available. Next. Next is E.T. E.T. The Extraterrestrial. Okay. I like the back. You like the back? Yeah. A little thing in there. So E.T. is a classic. If you haven't seen it, what are you doing? It's E.T. E.T.UK. <laughs> Ignore me. Right. Oh, this Next is a... you have American Psycho. You're going to do the thing. You pe- he's peeling off his face. There he is. There he is. He's got an axe on the back. An axe behind but his With back the American flag. As well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Standard. Full just, disc. just discs. They're doing a remake of it. Are they? Yeah. I mean, it only came out in like 1999 and they're already doing a remake. I, I enjoyed it. I didn't think it was as, the reveal was as shocking. Yeah, fair enough. For me. Right, a underrated film for me. This film. This this film, do you know what it's called? The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. So Nicolas Cage Nicolas is playing Cage. is playing himself where he has to go with Pedro Pascal to his island and he thinks the FBI or CIA think that he's a drug lord mm-hmm. and they want Nicolas Cage, the actor, to take him down. It's basically it. But he becomes really good friends. So if you haven't seen this... It's really good, enjoyable, um, funny. Funny. Give it a good watch. All right next, Ooh, Total, Recall. Total Recall. So this artwork is done by the same guy that does all the Stranger Things artwork. And obviously, Total Recall is a classic, a Paul Verhoeven classic that you've seen. Do not watch the remake. It makes this look like the greatest film ever. The remake is more based on the book. This is more funny. I guess. Yep. Ah, the greatest movie of all time. Would you like to know more? It's the Starship Troopers. This is the still book. Starship Troopers. Let's see what's inside. Again, I had to import it. It's not on sale here. It's the standard 4K still book. Right. Next. One of your favourite films of last year. Yep. Talk to me. Talk this to is me. Standard, nothing special. It's quite dark. It's very dark. It's very. It's, it's subtle with the hand. Yeah, it's, it's subtle. Yeah, it's nice. I like that one. What's that? Ah, Evil Dead Rise. Evil Dead Rise. It's, it was fine for an Evil Dead. Yeah, it was fine. I was so scared of the trailer. But you watched the film and it wasn't It there. didn't live up to my expectations. Right, next is a film that you've only seen the remake of. Friday Night. Which is Friday Night. So this is the original Friday Night. So you need to see this one. I like that. The artwork on this artwork. one is very nice. Uh, obviously, the remake stars Colin Farrell and the late great. I can't remember his name, but sadly he passed away. If you haven't seen. Oh, this is a really. This is kind of a silver, but it's not. Big one. It's not. Is this Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow, which was filmed down the road. So now, Sleepy Hollow is a still book, but it's also a book. Oh. It's actually like writing and stories and stuff. You like to read. That's Sleepy Hollow on the J-card. It means that it doesn't close properly. Yeah, it doesn't close. This is a bit of annoying. Next Next is Tremors. That's the front. That's the back. Kevin Bacon. Fred uh, Willard, I think. Fred. I can't remember his name. Very good classic 90s um, monster underground. Going to get you sort of thing. The Silbrook for Nope. Have you seen Nope? Yeah, not the best Jordan Peele film, but... It's true, it's not the best. But the still book still was... an okay film. The cinematography and the visuals for that, for Nope, is massive. It's, mm-hmm. watch it in the 4K, it looks brilliant. The story itself, eh. Needed work. The classic Adam's Family, again, had to import, and it came damaged. So it's got a break there, which means I'm not going to open it because everything falls out. And it falls apart. But that's the steel book, which is a very... When they come damaged, it's very annoying. And they don't give you a refund. Right, next. This one. Poltergeist. I kind of wish the artwork was different on this. 
it's not the best. Yeah, it's, it's not it's not the best. The film, if you haven't seen Part of Guys, is great, brilliant. But the artwork, not great. Next, oh, Alien, the egg. So that's, uh, and that's the back. Uh, the upgrade from, I'm not sure, it's Fox, 20th Century Fox, you've done the upgrade. Uh, the picture quality is brilliant compared to the new Aliens, apparently. Still not, we're still waiting for our one because it doesn't release here until April 22nd, where it's been out in America now for what, about a week. So I probably could order it from America and get it here before it comes from our one. But, you know, import tax. Next, a terrible sequel, The Exist Believer. It tried too hard, and I don't know why I bought it, but I, I did. I know why you bought it. Tell me why I bought it. Because you've got The Exorcist still book, and you wanted both. I've got to have it. Next. I haven't seen that one. Oh, you can watch The Exorcist Believer. You'll be disappointed. Next we have... Oh, I. Some screen films. That's a lot of screen films. Yeah, but they're out in the wrong order. Are they? So you've got Scream 1. On the back it says... Yeah. And you've got Scream 1. Okay. I would have done Scream 2 oh. after Scream 1. Is that not the same film? No. Scream 2. Oh, that's the new one. Why, are they, why is it the same? Name? Name. I don't know. Scream 3, still book. And then, that's the... Oh, and then it's this. No, it's Scream 4, which they haven't released, done a still book for. This is Scream 5. And, scream six. and this is Scream in New York City. Can't do it like Matthew Berry. You really are the most devious bastard in New York City. All right, next is Shrek... Two. I thought it was Shrek One. No, Shrek I don't two. have Shrek One. They haven't done Shrek One. They have done Shrek One. Oh, it's have. just so old that I can't spend the money on Shrek One. Still work. It's a bit silly priced. It's in the eighty pounds oh. for a, you know, still book of Shrek. You can see that in the cinema soon. You can. They're re-releasing it. You can. Next is Edge of Tomorrow. Classic Groundhog Day style Starship Trooper style movie. Surprise, a surprise for me. I thought it's going to be terrible. Yeah, Teenage that was a Mutant for me. Ninja Turtles, uh, Mutants of Mayhem. It's a good one. And then we got the last lot, the last lot. This pile. This pile. So we got the, the Flash, which wasn't as bad as everyone made out it to be. It was fine. It was good to see um, Michael Keaton as Batman again. It was nice. Uh, True Grit, the remake, classic. Coen Brothers, if you've not seen it. Embossed as well, it's very nice. Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, again together in Paul with a, I can't remember, Seth Rogen playing Paul. Underrated film now, Underrated. I feel like. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen Paul? If you haven't, see and watch Paul. <sighs> Jurassic Park still book. How boring is that? Very disappointed in the artwork of this one. The film, it's a classic. If you've not seen Jurassic Park, watch Jurassic Park. <laughs> Everyone's seen Jurassic Park. Uh, but this still book was just, I had to get it. I'm just disappointed by it. it could have done, they could have done so much more. So much more. So next is the creator. Visually stunning movie. So what they do is they film you and me, and then ILM to do loads of magic in the computer to make you look like cyborgs and robots. It was mad. The artwork is done by Matt Ferguson, again, from Vice Press. I'll leave their link down below. Good film. Next, Space Jam. I know, right? Welcome to the Space Jam. Welcome to the Space Jam. I don't know why. Oh, I do know it was a Christmas gift from this one. Uh, the Space Jam, it's a classic. But also, it's... don't watch it now. Next, The Goonies. Yeah. Decide. Have you seen the Goonies? Yeah. We have a Goonies poster outside. Oh, this relates to... Oh, the last. The last, but certainly not least. Her favourite. My favourite film series. So that means... By far, yeah. I would say, Basically. is 
Mission Impossible. Is this part one? It's special edition. Anyway, you can hold these because you like them so much. Classic. Mission Impossible 2. I'll take the tea card off. Standard on the back. Mission Impossible 2 is probably the worst one out of all of them. I always thought it was part three because she loved it so much. But it wasn't. It was part two. It says a lot about your faith in my taste. No, um, I just thought part two and three were the same one. That's all. That's my favourite one. Part three? And then you get part four, which is Ghost Protocol, where it starts to get really good. This is a film directed by Brad Bird. Brad Bird actually um, worked on The Simpsons for a long time. Yeah. Then he moved into action films. Weird that, isn't it? Uh, part five? the back of it well I would, Jake got stuck on this one I would say the same as the other ones that's quite a good one yes Rogue Nation's quite good uh, Fallout for me is my favourite one yeah Um, don't know why I just really enjoyed Fallout and then we've got the most recent one Dead Reckoning Part 1 which is annoying because these all match and then they release this <sighs> like, it, 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 doesn't fit on the ship. Why? No. If you're going to release these, make do these, but do another one which matches the new one or the old collection. Makes sense. So that has been our entire steelbook collection. Wow. It, it's a long video. I've had to change the card, but you know, I enjoyed showing you my steelbook collection. I enjoyed seeing which ones we have. Oh, you didn't know. You don't pay attention because I don't. I don't keep on top of it. I don't look at her selection of books that she keeps on buying. It's, it's, I don't. But anyhow, thank you for watching our Steelbook Collection video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because we'll do more stupid videos. Uh, she's got reactions and more films I saw far too young. I believe I'm going to do an alien one soon because I saw that far too young. Mm. So until next time, I will see you later. Goodbye forever.